Now let's talk about tape loops in actual live performances. Frippertronics is a specific technique that involves live looping. It is a technique developed by Robert Fripp. You may know him from the band King Crimson. So let's see how this Frippertronics technique works. Robert would record his guitar onto one tape recorder, which would then send its tape onto another tape recorder going through the playback head. Then the output would be mixed back in with his guitar signal back into the first tape recorder. So this way his older phrases would be heard and mixed in while the newer phrases were being played. And thus, the live looping performance was created. Now fast forward to today, we can still use this technique with a simple modified cassette tape to work like a tape loop. This tape loop along with a multi-track cassette recorder can create some pretty interesting live looping performances. It is still close to impossible to get a musical phrase perfectly looped, but it can lead to some really interesting textural style live looping. Here's a short demo of me playing a ukulele through that four track recorder. So I plugged into the first input on the tape machine, which will record onto the first track on the cassette. So I just switched to playback mode for track one and you can hear the loop. And now what I'm doing is I'm switching to input two. I plug the ukulele into input two and I'm playing a new phrase. And now I'm going to record that. And then I switch to playback mode to hear what I just recorded. And you get the idea. So that's basically live looping with tape, very analog style and not very precise at all. But of course, with using software like Ableton Live, you can get extreme precision if you want. Here's one example using the Ableton Live Push. So as you can hear, I first played the chords on the synth and then immediately after switched over to the drums while the chords were playing in the background. Let's check out the next example here. In this example, you're also hearing other instruments that are already pre-arranged in Ableton Live, and that makes the overall arrangement sound a bit more full, so I don't have to play each and every part, I'm just live looping certain parts. Now this third example here is using just audio, so you can also live loop with audio, not just instruments in Ableton Live. So this is a Chinese instrument called the Gutsen. What's really great about using a software like Ableton Live is that beyond just recording these parts and live looping, you can also add effects to those individual layers. And that's what you heard in that example. All right, so that is my brief history and explanation of how all this came into being from the early days of magnetic tape to tape echo machines to modern day software live looping with Ableton Live.